Conservation Corps Newfoundland and Labrador is a not-for-profit organization dedicated to providing youth with training and employment in environmental and cultural heritage conservation. It won't happen overnight, change won't happen fast, but we have to learn a lesson from mistakes made in the past. If you want to make a difference, join our club today. Together, we can change the world. That's the only way. It inspires all of us because we get this group of people that come in who are passionate about the environment, passionate about what they're doing, and they really want to make a difference. And um, I like to think that it gets everybody fired up within the community and excited about some of the stuff that we're, that we're, uh, that we're going to do. So our, our project this summer was a population estimate with the green crab. Uh, we did it in the Port Hyman area. So our first week at our project, we caught over 2,000 green crab and we tagged them with TFO's help. We released those crab and then the following weeks we just caught them and recorded if they were tagged or not. So our, our overall goal is to get a population estimate of the Port Hyman area. Did you plant your trees yourself? Yes. Is it fun? Do you like planting trees? I love it! <laughs> I would say that what I most take away from this project is the experience of working as a leader. Well, I definitely feel that I'm a lot more confident about myself. I want to go and do environmental science from my master's degree in university. And with this project, it's really hands-on experience for environmental issues that I will be hopefully researching for my master's and maybe my PhD in the future. <laughs> 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 Hi, Jess. We were lucky enough to be able to do the Growing Through the Ages program where the students um, worked with seniors in the community to plant flower boxes and the seniors at the home had a wonderful time working with the students and they really formed some good relationships there. Uh, I know there's, a, there's an environmental footprint that should be also left but it's a people footprint and a mentoring footprint that comes far deeper to trenches is left for many more to walk in and uh, and that to me is always the win of it all is to watch the kids uh, in our program that are age 7 to 12 be able to look out and see these kids working uh, that's infectious these kids are quite frankly are going to be young heroes to some of the other young kids that uh, they can follow in their footsteps so it's a small project made big by little little impacts along the way <laughs>